Previously on the bill. General Lewis. I'm the man that bought you the merchandise. The least you can do is get me out of here. If Charlotte's in our city, we will find her. We've got a serious problem here. They're taking off. The signal from the security cameras was streaming to an outside source through a third-party router. It's untraceable. So now they will know the police were here. There's no indication this Charlotte is here. Nothing obvious, Guff. Forensics found the scrap outside. They think it has a print on it. Kezia, can you get this rushed through? So this guy Hartman is obviously planning everything down to the last detail. And he's putting out a lot of money. So why is he only asking for a million euro? It doesn't make sense. We have Jan and Harry undercover in the gang. And we, we, we still don't know where Charlotte is. Gentlemen, one of you has betrayed me. You're a mercenary. Mercenaries work for the highest bidder. Fictive. Shoot him. No, this is wrong, Victor. Simple solution. If you're a cop, you won't pull the trigger. And I'll kill you. Please. Please don't. No. Victor, this is wrong! What's going on here, Victor? What is it? What is it? Hide the body. Terry, help him. Let's get going. Wait, wait, wait. Fighting a war against terror, but police can't find a plane. Hayo, how could this happen? We said number. Can I have your phone? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Vigna? If the police don't stop interfering with my business dealings immediately, I will kill your daughter. Uh, you have my word. I've told them not. Say you can tell them I've already killed their undercover officer. There, there wasn't. There wasn't undercover officer with the gang. Oh no. Oh, Jack, Mr. Meadows, where's my dad? He's not answering his phone. I really, really need to speak to him. Well, he's, uh, Jack, he's on a case. I'm sure he'll be in touch when he can. Well, he's usually really fast at phoning back, even if he is hacked off with me. Well, I'll tell you what, when I talk to him, I'll get him to call you, I promise. We're in the middle of something now, OK? OK. Thanks. And that was. Tell his daughter, yeah. Look, as soon as I know where he is, I'll call you, all right? Peace on it. OK. Come on, I'll give you the phone. Do they do this in Germany? Yes, sometimes.
The question is, was the kidnapper talking about Jan or Terry? Terry's daughter, she, uh, she wants to join the police force. Does Detective Maybach, does he have a family? A son. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, I need your help. Forensics have sent through the scan of the burnt document they found. I think I know this. Gov, the burnt document from the penthouse was a map of Leipzig. Is Leipzig within range of the plane? Yes, it is. Brief in ten minutes. Gov, ich gehe mit ihr, okay? I'm going back to Germany. Hauptmann is in Leipzig. I will find him in Charlotte. Yeah, well, I'll be coming with you. If he's there, Terry's there. And whether he's alive or dead, I want to bring my man home. Okay, Jack. Afterwards, the pilot reported transponder problems. So they could have made an unscheduled stop? Yeah, uh, according to Eurocontrol, the nearest landing strip they could have landed at is a former Russian military air base. Oshkets. Osh Oshkets. Osh right. Okay, get the vectors back to the soccer office, and then you can check it out. Let me know if you find anything. We'll take off. Start on this one next. Plates are upstairs. Hey, take this to the girl. Is that all she's getting? She's been in the basement all night. Nobody asked you to speak. Just go. I think I prefer your place in London. Mm. You're not used to surroundings like this, huh? I'm used to it. I spent my life trying to get away from it. Where is this place, anyway? Leipzig. It's where it all ended. The collapse of the GDR. East Germany with just a few hundred people. When the police tried to scatter the protesters, they started shouting, we bleiben here. We will stay. Well, did you protest? No. I was part of the GDR. Then what did you do? I went west. And what is your name? Kosnicki. Thank you. Anything? The Wegners flew to Leipzig half an hour ago. There are five other passengers on the same booking. Two Germans, three English. Cops. So, uh, I have to revise the plan a little. Train schedules. Find me a train leaving Leipzig within the next hour and make sure it's going a long way, non-stop. Are we pulling out? We're making backup plans, Terry, just in case. In case of what? That's not your concern. Dennis? Oh my God, this is Charlotte. The music. Where does it come from? Miss Wigner. It's just a video file, I'm sorry. Uh, this is uh, Kriminalkommissar Grimm. Sie sind Meadows. Hans, Sie Webb. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm just checking our social network. I've been already contacting our online friends to see whether anyone could have gathered any kind of information about her parents' trip to London, but nothing really. She only mentioned it briefly. No details, so... I'm afraid whoever snatched her must have known her well. No caller ID. Okay. Wegner? Mr. Wegner, it's time for you and I to do business. 
First, I want to know if my daughter is okay. Carl, I'm okay. Um, Lotte, geht's dir gut? I want you to be at the main gate of the Leipzig main station in 20 minutes. With my money. Um, Leipzig main station? What you're talking about? Please, Mr. Wegner, don't insult me. You and your wife checked out of your hotel in London and arrived in Leipzig one hour ago in the company of your Anglo-German police rangers. Well, but, but 20 minutes, how am I supposed to... You'll receive further instructions when you get there. And officers, don't even bother to show up. It'll just be a waste of time. Wait, please, let's... What's this? No. 20 minutes? Yesterday I told him 24 hours wouldn't be enough. Nobody has that kind of cash. I have to realize assets, sell shares. Look, you only need about 10,000 euro, right? That's enough to fool them if they check the bag. And we follow them and they could take us to Charlotte. But if they check the bag properly? Yes. What if you lose them? We are running out of time. Can you get the money? I try. Let's go. Let's go. The girl is secure. No one is to leave this building until I return. Is everything all right? Yeah, absolutely. Governor Man Patrick on the concourse. Ready and waiting. Okay, Mickey. We've got an eyeball on Carl. Stay in position. We'll receive. 20 minutes notice, you've got a place covered. Pretty efficient. Yeah. We're a good team. We know each other well. About your blonde mate, she's a bit of a tough one to crack, isn't she? She loosens up after a while. Why? You interested? Oh, no, 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 not like that, no. I'll talk to her. No, no, not for me. Always not for her. I can do it for you. Yeah, Don't worry no, about no. it. I'll talk to her. Have you ever been to Leipzig before? Yes. How did Victor get in touch with you? Same way he got in touch with you, I imagine. Anyway, I don't think it's a good idea we know too much about each other, do you? You're right. I'm going to check on the girl. Okay, Mickey, we've got a call. Stand by. Big now? Yeah, it's a kidnapper. He says he's watching. He's watching us. He's told him to move to platform 11 for the drop off. Platform 11. Okay, Governor, we got him inside. We're keeping our distance. Hold on, Mickey. Something's up. He's not here. Wait, Carl, wait! What's going on down there? There's no background noise. I'm on the platform now, Governor. Nothing suspicious. Carl, hörst du nicht to me? Don't have the money on the train. Patrick, stop him. Halt ihn auf! Mickey, don't let Carl put the money on the train. Something's not right. Ayo says there's no background noise on the phone call. We don't think the kidnappers are here. We think it's a decoy. This is high risk. I know. Okay, we stopped him. What's going on? What's happening? He thinks the man is on the train. So it was a decoy. And we're no closer to finding Charlotte. Charlotte? It's me, me, me. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here. My name is Terry Perkins. I'm a British police officer. I'm here to protect you. You're a cop? Yeah. But yesterday you hit me, you're just like them. No, I'm not. Ah! Look, Victor had a gun on you. It was the only way I could be sure he wasn't going to shoot you. Now, come on. You could just get in front of me. It's not as simple as that. I had to act quickly and not blow my cover. Oh! Now we are even. You should meet my daughter. You two would get on really well together. <laughs> Charlotte! Are you going down? Oh! Hey! 
Why are you freeing the girl? You're a cop, aren't you? Well, if I am, it's bad luck for you, isn't it? My name is Maybach, that's it, PD. Yeah, you're not talking your way out of this one. Hey, hey, listen. I'm working the case on the German side. Soon as we found out Miller was coming in from Amsterdam, I took his place. You were going to shoot Carson on the airfield. Cops don't do that. The gun was unloaded. How do you know that? Miller's a computer freak, not a weapon expert. I'm not Miller. Quick, do us back. I'm sorry. I've got it! Someone can explain to me what's going on. You have risked Charlotte's life again and again. You have to trust us, Carl. Patrick. Gentlemen, we enhanced the background noise in the recording of the phone call with him. This is what we have. Listen. Thomas Kirchner. I think so. Who's Thomas Kirche? No, who is what? It's a church. Thomas Kirche is here. The station is here. Have we got any CCTV of the area? We haven't had surveillance like this since the days of Stasi Secret Service. Sorry about that. Well, at least we know one thing. The kidnappers in Leipzig. Well, two things. Because while he was pretending to pick up the ransom here at the station, he was actually doing something else here. The kidnapper called as rangers. That's the Stasi expression for NATO Special Forces. And if you put that together with a surveillance awareness training... Our kidnapper could be a former Stasi officer. Well, that narrows it down, doesn't it? You have any idea how many secret policemen we had in East Germany? Patrick. Start with Leipzig. Check Victor Hauptmann's files, OK? We need urgent action. Thanks, Gleich. So she managed to untie herself and attacked you when you entered the room. Where were you? The door to the car park. Get him out! Talk. I just wanted to make sure she was all right. You wanted to make sure she got out? She begged me to loosen her ties. She, she said it hurt like hell. She's a hostage! Look, I've got a daughter the same age as her. I, I didn't want to see her in pain. Victor, I didn't sign up for this, and, and I'm not sure you did either. I will see this through. I mean, is it about the money? I mean, what is it? Back in the 80s, I raised more than $500 million for the comrades in East Berlin. Paintings, antiques, jewelry. I sold the crown jewels of our beloved republic. And for what? A pat on the back. In West Germany, they would have given me a 5% bonus. I'm just taking back what I'm owed, Terry. By the end of today, I will be rich. And if you hold your nerve, so will you. What about the girl? What happens to Charlotte depends on whether or not I get what I want today. It's time to get ready. Fresh tire mark. It's fresh blood too. Seems to be leading that way. One of Victor's men. What's this? Yeah? Gov, we found a body at the airfield. Hang on, Kezia, I'm going to put you on the speaker. Hey, oh. They found a body at the airfield. Go on, Kezia. It's Carson, the guy from the handover in London. They must have thought he was the cop. 
Anything else? Uh, the Wagner's in the room. No, you're OK. They're out of here, Sean. We found a PDA on Carson. On it, there's a photo of Helen Wagner with an unknown IC1 male. What, what kind of a photo? I'm sending it through now. Do you know him? No. I have never seen this man before. They seem very close. Well, it could be an old picture. <laughs> Helen Scorff. I bought it for her birthday last month. Kez has run through the PDA's directory. That picture was messaged to a German mobile phone yesterday morning, 6.03 English time. That's the number. Mm -hmm. Helen's phone. She's been lying all along. list of calls that Helen made and received while she was in the UK. Now, after first contact with a kidnapper, she then called her husband at home. And then hired, just like he said. And also, there's a third number she called. It's a Leipzig landline number registered to a Paul Gusioan. That's this guy? Yeah. She called him three times in the next hour, then once later on the afternoon, every time after she'd received a call from a withheld number. Yeah, and earlier when we were all around, she rejected a phone call. But then, outside, she was having an animated conversation with somebody. Well, the question remains, if it's not about money, why are you interested in Helen? Well, we need to ask her how this guy, Paul Gushan, is involved. But I don't think AI's a man to interview her. I think he's too close to the case. We can start. OK, I know this is really difficult for you, but I think it would be better if I interviewed Helen on my own. No. Helen will tell me what's going on. We don't know what these people are capable of. They've already lied about the ransom money. Now, I think they want something else. But you heard everything the kidnapper said. He only seems to be interested in the money. A million euro is not very much. Not when you add up the cost of renting an expensive London property, paying for accomplices, a security expert, not to mention renting a private plane. It doesn't leave a lot of profit. Unless... Unless what? Unless the kidnapper makes demands we don't know about yet. Helen, I'm sorry. Who is this? Who is Paul Gose Johann? Please, Helen, tell me. Paul and I, we met at a party a few months ago. Karl was in Moscow, Warsaw, I don't know. So I went alone. Paul and I, we talked. He told me that he loves the music of Anton Arensky. You know, nobody loves Arensky except me. We ended up at his place. We've been seeing each other ever since. So Paul is the reason that Charlotte has been kidnapped. So what do they want? And why did they send you that photo yesterday morning? I can't tell. Du hast uns belogen, Helen. Was ist passiert? Sie werden Charlotte umbringen, wenn ich euch das erzähle. They may kill her if you don't tell us. Helen. I've known Charlotte since she was a baby. Wir waren im ersten Kindergartenkonzert. You have to work with us, Helen. You have to work with us. Mrs. Wagner, you can't trust these people, but you can trust me and you can trust Ayo. 
They wanted a list. A list? Paul works for Welt Express Logistics. This is a courier service. The list contains information about high value shipments coming in and out of Leipzig today. And he gave it to them while we were at the station. Look, she's terrified of what they'll do to Charlotte, and that's why she's been lying to you. You'll be able to reconcile with her when this is all over, but in the meantime, we need to go to the Velt Express. No. Won't help us to find Charlotte. We must let the kidnapper continue. Yeah, I'll follow him to where he's holding her. Governor, that was Patrick on the phone. It seems like we've been granted permission to have a look at the Stasi farms. They're transferring them over now. Okay, that's good work. I want you, Kezia, Ina, and Patrick to set up on our boat a place called the Velt Express Logistics. We think the kidnapper's going to be there. Okay. Hi, -o. What's going on here? Talk to Helen. Governor, we've just reached the Woe Express. Any signs of Terry or Yan? Terry's outside now with an IC1 male, dark hair. Flight four is. Good to see Terry again, Gov. Where are you, Kezia? We're in position. We can see Terry with the IC1 male. Are you happy now that you paired up with Ina? Oh, Linda, oh yeah. <laughs> Why are they laughing? Uh, well, well it's just, uh, uh, it makes sense operationally that we swap partners, you know what I mean? You asked to be with me? No, it's not that. It, it, it. Is it, you didn't want to be with me. No, they think you're... And, 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 and I'm... Don't worry about it. Which one is your friend? You can't tell. But I ask you if I could. They both look like villains to me. Yeah. We could do with some better looking officers. Gov, they've gone into the Velt Express. Looks like they're going to some sort of collection point. Okay, Kezia. Don't lose them. So this high value shipment they were after, they're picking up now. He's always one step ahead. Paul Gushihan, he's been the key to this all along. He had information that the kidnappers wanted. And they knew that by kidnapping Charlotte, he'd give this information up. They also knew about the affair. That we are following Paul. Or maybe somebody close to Paul betrayed him. Or someone close to Helen. When the kid I was called London, Carl spoke to them first. They jumped in pretty quickly, maybe too quickly. To warn the kidnappers? Who knows? I mean, you know this guy, I mean, did he behave like somebody who just discovered his wife was having an affair, or, or has he known for a few weeks? I mean, he seemed crushed when she told him. But when she was not looking, his expression changed. Then he looked at his watch. He's known all along. I'm sorry, Ayo. <sighs> we need to check out Carl fast. Did Mr. Wagner have any more savings with your bank? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Carl's accounts are empty. His credit's frozen. He never had a million euro. Carl lied to me. To us, the bar child of kidnapper. He knows him. 
the Stasi trade to get him as an informer in 1983. He was contacted by a man named Volker Heidmann, alias Vincent Hoffmann, alias Victor Hoffmann. Okay, well, over the last month, Carl has made about half a dozen calls to an office in Mayfair, and the registered owner of that office is Victor Hauptmann. Exactly. It is easy. Okay, so Carl's having money problems. He then discovers that his wife is having an affair with this guy who has access to information about high value shipments coming into Leipzig. Which is where Victor comes in. They say he's kidnapping. Victor puts pressure on Helen and Paul comes up with the information. You know, she might never have been in danger. I think we should bring him in. We could bring the whole gang in. I mean, somebody's going to tell us where Charlotte is. I know it's a risk, but I think it's worth a chance. Well, trust me, Ayo. If Charlotte wasn't your goddaughter, what would you do? Hi, was gibt's? Okay, alles klar. Where to get them? Marlo. Dennis, we got a problem. You want me to shoot, sir? If you do that, there's no turning oh, back. Oh, yes, we're on our way. Don't kill her. I'll get us out of here. Talking to the cops, right? Target vehicle's inside. One that town now. Can you see Terry? Terry's driving gun. But he ain't letting up. We can't afford to lose them. He's taking too many risks. Just stay close. Governor, he's driving like a nutter. What's your name? Who are you? DC Walker, London Metropolitan Police. You can't arrest me here. Aber wir. Zimmermann, Kripo Leipzig. Tim, Kripo Leipzig. Where's Charlotte Wagner? Hartmann's hideaway is called Kolchosa. That's all he claims to know. Kolchosa was, uh, was a Soviet farming collective. They don't exist anymore. You know, if Jan and Terry were so determined to help Hartmann escape, it can only mean one thing. The Charlotte is in danger, and they're trying to get back to her. It's time to talk to Carl. Do you recognize this man? No. Uh, who is this guy? Do you think he has Charlotte? So you don't recognize him? No. Oh, that's interesting. Because he was a man who tried to recruit you for the Stasi in 1983. You got my Stasi file? Where's Charlotte, Mr. Wagner? I swear, I have nothing to do with this. And you know how much I love my daughter. Your stepdaughter? And you're talking to me here? When did you last have contact with Victor Hauptmann? 
you don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's strange, because you talked to him about six times over the last month. You discovered that Helen had been cheating on you, and you conspired with Victor Howman to get your revenge and sort out your money problems with one neat solution. I don't have money problems. Well, you were behind with your uh, business rents. You took out a mortgage on your house to pay off a bank loan. I'd say you needed money pretty fast. I don't. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Sag mir, wo Charlotte ist! Ey, verdammt doch mal! Ich weiß es nicht, Herr Gott, ich weiß nicht, wo sie so, steht! So, weißt du, was du hier antust die letzten zwei Tage? Charlotte has spent two days alone! Because of you! Wir wissen, wie, wie nur you mehr involviert. And the whole thing was an act! You told me it would be simple. Do you honestly think that Charlotte is safe? Have you any idea what these people are like? They've already killed one man. And my undercover officers are willing to risk the life of his colleagues in order to keep in contact with Victor Hauptmann. Now, he wouldn't have done that if Charlotte was safe. So please, where is she? I don't know. Victor only told me what I needed to know. Colchosa. Colchosa. Any idea? What that word could mean to Victor? No. He planned it like a secret operation. We are playing by, by Moscow rules, he said. Assume everyone is an enemy. Take extreme precautions. Use old school tradecraft. You know, even so maps of Leipzig were old Stasi ones from, from the 80s. The Stasi maps gave code names to key buildings, including safe houses. So this code shows it was uh, an old Stasi safe house in Leipzig. Have you got access to maps? I have. I hope you talk. Ich hätte das nie, nie zugelassen, das ist... Yes, but the police still that. They got Marlow. Here. So we can let the girl go now, right? Victor, the girl, where is she? She's in the basement. Bring her up, Terry. Which way? Die Frage ist die Oil-Sorge-Tretsphäre. Bis dahin ist die Codename ist Kolchose. Building 10. Patrick, du rufst das SEK. Armed Police, okay? Slap me one more time. I'm going to start taking the person. He's coming. What about the others? I won't let you know. My you... colleagues will deal with them, okay? You just stick with me. Colleagues. <laughs> Villains don't have colleagues. Villains have crews, mates, gangs. Only cops have colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Why do things have to get so complicated all the time? Tell me, what's your real name, officer? Jerry Perkins. Do you know what we did with traitors in the GDR? We shot them in the back. So, run. Patrick, what is that SEK here? Backup's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, well, we've got three armed officers, we've got two men on the inside, so the odds are in our favor. Let's go. You shoot me, you're gonna have to look me in the eye. It's not that simple, is it? Stay where you are. Pulling that trigger is not gonna solve anything. Everything you are and everything you stand for, that's just this history now. It's finished. Come on. It's finished. Wait, 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 wait. She's worth millions. Huh? Why should Peter take all the money? Huh? Shut up the night, night! You couldn't save the girl. Don't take it. I need to leave. Sure. They make a good team. Well, that's what being a cop's all about. Any time you're in London. Of course. I'll is in. Bye bye.
see. The mate told me everything. I didn't know. You could have been killed. And you said you wanted to be a police officer. Are you serious? Yes, I was. Well, then I think you should do it. Because I think it's the best job in the world. Thank you, Dan. You just be careful, you promise? Yeah. Let's go home. How's mum? Good, yeah. Next time on The Bill. He went, he hit her and he just, he right. just went. Right. Look at my little girl. Look at her. I'll tell you what sort of white time. Parents abandon responsibility for their kids and leaving to other people to deal with a fallout. 